Welcome to episode 73 of G Hellers Beer Reviews. As you can see, this afternoon I will be reviewing Royal Dutch Post Horn uh, Lager Beer, Extra Smooth. Uh, I was going to review another beer, um, I won't even tell you what it was because I'll do it again, but I had some trouble with the um, uh, the recording equipment and um, it didn't work, so anyway, I'll just have to buy that beer again, but it was nice, so you know, watch this space for that, but it, it was a porter, I'll give you that much. But anyway, getting back to this one, um, I've had this in the fridge for a while and it's got pretty average reviews and I wasn't too keen on trying it because, you know, there's a lot of other good brews I, I want to get to and that I have in the fridge. But um, I thought it's about time, you know, I might as well give it a go. Uh, Swill and Grog um, reviewed this some time ago, I think he gave it a 6. Uh, and Jez also gave it, well, he gave it a C- minus, I think, uh, from memory. Um, but yeah, so it, it's, a, it's a good looking can. As you can see, it's a 500 milliliter can at 4.3% alcohol by volume. It says it's a Dutch beer, but it actually says here a product of Germany. So it's obviously brewed in Germany now. Um, yeah, it's got a lot of other languages here. It's an import can, uh, even some Asian languages. So they must import to a lot of countries. Anyway, without further delay, I've got a chilled pint glass here. I'll crack it open. Heads come up well. I'll just let that settle for a bit. Uh, fairly carbonated, yeah, moderate to high carbonation. Color is a very light, light straw color. Uh, definitely a lot lighter than some other lagers. It's almost uh, a lemon color, uh, if you could just describe it like that. It's a uh, very, very light yellow. As for the head, it is a tightly um, packed consistency head. Uh, very clean white. Um, yeah. Looks good though. As for the head, it's uh, two fingers. So I've almost got the most most of the can in there. I'll just get it all in there. Okay. So I, I love these 500 mil cans though from Europe. Uh, they're really on the money with these. So uh, you know a lot of breweries do them. Uh, they should bring them out here. Uh, they're great, great value. Okay, now for the brew. All right, the smell. Yeah, up front I'm getting a little bit of a hop smell. Sweet malty smell. Very classic sort of European lager smell. But uh, somewhat not as pronounced as some of the mainstream ones you might think of, say Bex or uh, Heineken or Stella. But it's got a similar profile to that. Mm, a sweet, uh, sweet malty uh, smell with a grassy hoppy note in there as well all right without further delay the best bit the taste test cheers up front I'm getting a very sweet multi multi taste bitterness unfortunately is next to none not much bitterness at all um, and in, in saying that, that, yeah, from the hop bite, it's it's almost non-existent. There is a hop flavour in this beer, uh, in the background, uh, but the malts um, definitely are the, uh, in the forefront. Um, but with the hop taste, there's no uh, hop uh, bite that comes with it, unfortunately. Um, as our beer drinkers know, you know, a good lager, yeah, that's what you're looking for, a nice uh, sting from the hop, hop bite. Um, but unfortunately, this doesn't have it. Uh, the sweetness is nice though. Uh, it is, is quite sweet, but it is pleasant. I'll just give it another go. Very dry. Um, yeah, quite a dry beer. And the sweetness, yeah, is there, but it's funny. Um, the other two boys that reviewed it, Jez and Swillengrog, and a number of other people online have said that you know, the first sip's not bad, but after that, I'm picking up a little bit of a metallic taste. Uh, everyone's almost uh, uh, said that across the board that uh, they get that. Um, it's it's not too bad, but it's it's there. Like it, it sort of takes away a little bit from the beer. Let's give it another go. Yeah, 
yeah, that metal metallic taste is there. Um, not too bad though. I, I can manage with it. It's not going to make me tip it out, um, but it is in the background. But as I said, the, the sweet multi taste that profile is out, yeah, throughout the whole mouth feel and um, throughout the whole palate, uh, it sticks there. Uh, the only thing I'd like to probably see a bit more with it would be some bitterness. It was balanced out with a bit more bitterness, uh, probably be a, uh, and take away that metallic sort of a, a taste. Um, it wouldn't be a bad brew. It'd be a nice uh, European lager. Anyway, I'll give it one more sip and I'll give it a score. Yeah, it's very very thin. Um, getting towards the end of it, yeah, that that metallic taste is getting even stronger unfortunately so that's a shame because it could have been or it's got potential it could be a lot better if they you know just altered the brew a bit more and it is quite low in alcohol was well, getting towards the lower end uh, for a lager it's 4.3 um you know normally they're in the high fours or fives uh, so it's getting more towards a mid-strength beer um so what would in saying that what would i give royal dutch post horn super smooth extra smooth lager dutch lager I'd be with Sulengrog on this. I'll give it a six out of ten. Um, yeah, I've, I've had much worse beers. Uh, it's not terrible, but it's nothing really any uh, anything special over some of the other lagers that are around. Even the Aussie lagers, you know, some of the lagers, or particularly the new VB. So, you know, I'm a VB tragic. Um, I would highly recommend uh, yeah, some of the Aussie lagers over this, um, and for similar pricing. All right. I'll stop raving on now. It's uh, almost seven minutes, so <laughs> I better finish up. But thanks for watching another G Hello Review review. Six out of ten for Royal Dutch Post Horn, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.